Okay, we're going to go ahead and, and work on ISO circ number three. And once again, we have a four inch length, inch and a half wide, two and a half inch tall model. So we're going to go ahead and draw that solid. Clicking once at the origin with the rectangle tool, typing in four comma 1.5, and hitting P for push pull, clicking once, moving up. 2.5. I'm sure by now you can do this in your sleep. Okay. All right. Now, once again, I'm going to switch over to that front view. It's kind of nice to look at things just from a flat two-dimensional perspective. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Going back to our drawing, you actually see that we have these arcs on the corners. And we have a radius. This one's 1 and 3 eighths. And this one here is radius of 1. It's a radius of 1, radius of 1 and 3 eighths. Here's how I've completed these drawings. I'm going to actually use the circle tool. So C for circle. I'm going to click once here in this or left hand corner of the front view. Click once. I'm going to move down. I'm just going to type in 1. Hit enter. And if I use my E for eraser tool, you can just click once here and you can kind of figure out what's going to happen next. I can just push pull, click, drag. Okay, looking back at that, the front view, there it is. Now, I could have also drawn my second circle here right after I drew the first one, but just to kind of show you the process, let me hit C for circle again. Click once. This one's going to be 1 and 3 8, so 1 space. 3 over 8, enter, E for erase, as long as I click anywhere along this outer edge, I should get rid of that, orbit, push pull, there it is, once again, orient your model so it looks just like the drawing on your paper, save your work, and move on to the next drawing.